Hello everybody, it's me, Glygar13vids, or Jake Orlight, or however you want to call me, and I'm here to review yet another laughable Sonic game. Now, long story short, I've played a lot of Sonic games. I mean, I actually used to be a lot, like, really into Sonic when I was younger, but here's the problem. Sonic games aren't really that good. Mainly the later ones. I mean, the older ones were actually kind of, were actually pretty good games. But the problem is, over time, Sega's just made the brand a laughing stock among the gaming community. You see, with Sonic, Sega just decides to throw whatever crap they have at the wall. And they hope it sticks, pretty much. But actually, they don't even hope it sticks. They just throw out a new game, like either every new one or every few games, they'll just throw out a new gameplay style. Or they'll just, I don't know, just release garbage. And this game that I'm talking about here, Sonic Runners, is an example of this. Now, Sonic Runners was hyped up, like, when the rumors came out about how people were hyping this game up because like, long story short, there have been rumors going around, for example, one person saying that Sonic Team was getting help from Microsoft and working with the Durango, which is basically the code name for the Xbox One gaming console. And then what happened was Sega also had something written at a toy store about a Sonic game for 2015. But stuff's happened at Sega, and for example, Sega of America has had a major downsizing after Sonic Boom was a train wreck. I mean, there were people actually hoping it would be good, including me, and of course many Sonic fans too, and it ended up being a laughing stock among Sonic, like the next 06 pretty much. And of course it even resulted in one person throwing a tantrum at GameStop and being arrested all over Sonic's arm color, but... That's another story. So basically, I went ahead and attempted to download Sonic Runners because it was a mobile game, and instead of being a full-fledged Sonic game, and of course, knowing the last few Sonic mobile games, I wanted to see just how bad this was because, long story short, Sega of America and Sega in general doesn't know what they're doing with Sonic. So here I have this phone. It's a Blue Life 8, and I currently have it rooted. I currently have... um. This nice Falco um, wallpaper because, you know, Falco is freaking amazing. Oh, my God. And, of course, the reason I'm showing you this now is because I'm showing you this phone isn't weak. This is an 8-core phone. It says here, 8 cores. In fact, I'm even going to screen cap this. 8 cores. Uh, 8 ARM core text A7 cores at 1.66 gigahertz. This is 8 cores. See, look. 8 core. This is an 8 core phone. MediaTek MT6592. This is a real 8 core phone. And I'm saying this just because of when I actually start the game, you'll see what I'm talking about. So, this isn't a bad phone. This is actually a pretty good phone. So, it should be able to run Sonic Runners, right? Well, guess what? Sonic Runners is not available on the Google Play Store. Type in Sonic Runners and it's not available, even though it's out. Well, here's the thing. This game's only available in Canada and Japan right now. So basically, if you live in America or Europe, you cannot download this game. I mean, this is as bad as when Sega was doing stuff with Sonic Boom, where they were not, like, really giving a crap about if it was out in Europe or not. But yeah, as you can see here, I currently have... I currently have this nice phone, which can even display a live wallpaper, which is the SGI Electro Paint screensaver ported to Android, without slowdown or anything. I mean, this is a nice phone, really. It's pretty fast, too. So, the reason I'm going on and on about the phone was, long story short, I was in college and I hear, ooh, Sega's released the Sonic game. I better go download it. And somebody also told me it on Twitter that it was out, too. So, I decided, whatever, I'll go download Sonic Runners. And here it is. I downloaded an APK of it because the cool part is with Android, you can actually install APKs. So I'll turn the volume up here. Because, long story short. Wow, look at this elevator music.
and it's loading. This game is the next Sonic 06 in terms of load times, because this game has lots and lots of loading. And you know, that's why I was showing you these phone specs. Because I was trying to show you that this game is badly optimized. Even on an 8-core phone, this is an 8-core phone, people, and it still has load times, like mad. You would have thought a fast phone with decent specs could have loaded this game right, but no, it can. Okay, so now it's finally loaded, and... Look, Sonic and the Black Knight reference. You know it's going to be good when they reference possibly one of the worst Sonic games ever made. Yup, people. That's how you know it's going to be an amazing, terrible game. Amazingly terrible game, that is. And it's loading. Loading, loading. Check this out. This game has longer load times than 06 does, basically. This is, this is pathetic. What is with the Sonic series having these long load times? That's what I'll never understand. Notifications? Woo, some free-to-play campaign. Now this game seems to be used with unit, like, coded in Unity, because I took a look at the files, and that's what it said, because Unity is like the Unreal Engine for mobile and low-budget games. So apparently I'm trapped in this tutorial and I can't do anything. So I'm just gonna like... I'm gonna like try uh, freaking playing this. Come on, load. So gameplay pretty much feels like an endless runner mixed with Flappy Bird. In other words, crap. load oh my god phone this is an eight core thing and it takes danger zone okay I, I didn't even push anything it just th this is just playing itself with these color powers straight out Ooh, I didn't do anything oh my god <laughs> Hold on, I gotta turn off Skype while this piece of shit loads. Cause it's gonna take a while. So, I I had to alt tab or basically hold the home button down and the game quit when I did that. All I have to say is wow. Just wow, this thing's badly coded, I'm not even joking. And it's still freaking loading. It's, can, can you just load already, damn it? Oh my god. And of course, the loading is back. Literally. I just alt-tabbed, and this piece of crap has to load itself all over again. This is a joke. This really is. This is an 8-core phone, and it's taking forever to load. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? It's just it's just moving like at one frame a second. This this is this is sad. Okay. By premium roulette, okay. I guess I'll just play the stage and show you this amazing gameplay. And of course the game wants to hold my hand because it thinks I'm a casual. I can't even hit play. All I know is that they're really trying to shill, like, they really want to shill this. Like, they really want to make me, I don't know, buy all this crap. Connecting, connecting, connecting. There's a reason they left this for only one region, because this game's a freaking joke. Okay, god, this game's holding my hand. This is the most casualized piece of crap ever. God, this game is a piece of shit. 
This game sucks. I can't even play this. Like, this is what Sega is doing with the Sonic brand people. Making garbage like this. I mean, the load times are pathetic. The gameplay... Okay, I haven't even gotten to the main gameplay yet because the game's still trying to hold my hand. This is this is sad. This this really is sad. God. And the game just holding my fucking hand like like What do they think I am? Like some 9-year-old? I mean god. Instead of putting like the main Sonic games on mobile, this is what Sega thinks their fans want people. They think their fans are, need to play casual, gotta go fast garbage on their phone. And look, I'm noticing optimization issues too. Yeah, this 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 game sucks dick. This game just fucking sucks. Look, look, see, I'm literally just running forward. Doctor Eggman. Gotta go fast. Like, like... Look, see, look, look, this is... The game, you don't even need to touch, like, a button now. You don't even need to hold a button to win. Like, you don't even need to, because the game just plays itself. And it just has random crap from other Sonic games tacked in, too. God, this game sucks. This game fucking sucks. Like, like whose idea at Sega was it to make this piece of crap? Oh, yeah. Here's a fun fact. You can't say a swear word on their message boards, either. <laughs> So I might have to make a clean version of this video if anybody wants to, like, show Sega's own, like, developers just how bad this game... Oh, wait, the developers don't even read the message boards because they still haven't localized Fancy Star on... Oh, look, I fucking died because this is a piece of... I have to actually... Are you fuck... I actually have to use real money to do shit in this game? To, like, continue? Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck this game. But yeah, did I mention Sega's developers don't even read their own message boards, so they just ignore criticism? But yeah, this game's a piece of shit. The game just holds your hand for you. If it treats you like, like you're some, it treats you like you're a five-year-old, okay? And when I was doing this, like, I think I played, like, one level of this in my college, because that's where I downloaded this. I said, fuck this, and I, I, I hit, I quit the game, I whipped out my tablet, and I just started playing... Halo PC, because that's a much better game with much less loading times. Because, God, this game is running like crap even in the menus. You cannot make this up, people. This game is just that garbage. It's like Sega even caring. Is Sega even caring? No, I do not even want to give my... F I don't even use that crappy site. I don't even God. God, I, why do I want to play anymore? This is just so la. They want me to av they want me to advertise this game on Facebook. God, how desperate can they be to get people to play this crappy game? God, this game sucks. This game just sucks. This is just lagging like crap on my f Let me check my battery on, oh, man. This game's chewing up my battery. You know what? Screw this game. Screw this game. I'm gonna go play a good game. I'm gonna play better mobile game. Like, goddamn Flappy Bird is more fun than this game. Flappy Bird is more fun than, than Sonic Runners. Because at least Flappy Bird's just Flappy Bird. You, you don't have to hear sh the game, like, the game try to shill you about how, oh, log into Facebook now, buy this game now. Like, tell your friends about it. No, Flappy Bird doesn't need that. It's just Flappy Bird. It's a classic. Flappy Bird's the game of the decade. It's much better than this game. It doesn't have microtransactions, it's just tap the screen. This is the game of... This is the game of the century right here, people. <laughs> Flappy Bird. Yeah, yeah, I said it. Flappy Bird is more enjoyable than this crappy Sonic Runners game. Flappy Bird is so much better than this... So look, look, see? Flappy Bird is actually fun. That's all I have to say, people. This Sonic Runners game is a piece of crap. No matter any way you put it. No matter how you try to put it.
But now it's time for bonus round. I'm going to try to run Sonic Runners on this dual core cheapo phone. Because, you know, if it can't even run right on a quad core phone, I mean, no, no, octo core phone. How well do you think it'll run on this cheap phone that they give away at, like, all these prepaid stuff? Like, how well do you think it'll run? I gotta skip past all this crap because Google really wants me to sign up. Okay, check this out. Well, let's see how long it takes to load. <laughs> it's just freezing up. Holy crap, man. This game's badly optimized, people. Lots of people probably still have dual core phones. Maybe a lot maybe they have some phones with 512 megs of RAM. And you know what? This game is taking so long to load that it's just freezing up on this phone as well. God, what a piece of shit game. This game's just laughable. This is what Sega thinks is good for the Sonic brand people. Garbage like this. And I'm gonna enter a name in. Um I'm going to enter in a name in, uh... Ah, God. Why the fuck is the keyboard not coming up? Hmm, whatever, I'll skip. No name was entered. It freaking threw up an error message. <sighs> this game doesn't even work on this cheap phone. It doesn't. So, yeah, if you have a lower-end Android phone... Don't even bother with this game, because it just sucks, okay? <sighs> this game's straight up trash, no matter how you try to spin it. This game's garbage. Don't even bother with this game, people. That's all that needs to be said. Thanks for suffering, and subscribe for more. Because this game, it's not even fun to play. It's it's not. It's just, it's just sad. Another sad, pathetic reflection on what the Sonic brands become. That's all I need to say. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.